went to my weigh-in. My meeting was awesome. We had a substitute leader who was amazing, and um, she did a great job. We talked about um, not what's our why. What's the new one this week? Think, act, do, something like that. It was really, really good. Um, and we kind of talked about think, feel, do. Ta-da! Um, and it was awesome. We talked about, like kind of our mentality and unhelpful thoughts and just stuff like that. And I um, really encourage you to take a look at your weekly and go through it and use them. They're great tools, um, especially when you feel stuck with something. It is a great way to kind of push past that stinking thinking. Um, so just something to, something to think about. This weekend on my... Um, private uh, Facebook group. I have a Facebook group that um, I try to post updates and different things because I'm, I'm finding I'm not always able to pull a video together. I posted um, some goals. So um, I will tell you about my weigh in because I'm sure some of you just want to know how I did. And then I'm going to talk to you about um, kind of my plan. I Saturday was exactly 49 days from my 40th birthday. So um, seven weeks exactly, and I will tell you what I'm doing. So this week in Weight Watchers, I, at the scale, I was down 2.4 pounds. Um, I'm super excited about it. Um, I knew that I would have a loss. I just wasn't expecting it to be that big. Okay. I was down 3.4 um, and then there of course was my ugly crying <laughs> after Christmas um, even though I busted my tail I went up what was it 0.2 and I got in the car and just cried 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 um, and it's funny because we were talking about this think, feel, do, <clears throat> and those weird thoughts that get in our heads and kind of derail us. And so many people spoke today about how they've joined and quit and joined and quit, you know, three, four, five, ten, twenty times. And um, I'm right in there. I'm right up. I'm like one of those. Um, Jenny, our normal leader, calls us repeat offenders. <laughs> but um, my point is that on December 30th, I think it was, whatever day that was, yeah, it was December 30th that I think I got in my car and just bawled like a baby. Um, I could have walked away. I could have walked away from Weight Watchers and said, forget it. Melissa, you're never going to succeed. You're a failure because... There's been so many times in my life where I've been a failure with weight that it's not, I, I've done it. I'm successful at failing at weight loss and putting myself down and talking mean. Um, but I, I kill it in every other part of my life. I'm an amazing mom. I'm a great member of the community. I rock at city council. Like I do these things, family history, baking bread, you know, all these things, and I've tackled them, and I've done great with them, but when it comes to weight loss, I feel like an utter and complete failure. So my point was that I could have walked away that day. Just based off of my thinking, I could have just said, you know what, forget it, I'm done. I'm not gonna do this anymore. But something in me pushed me to stay, and I came back the next week and lost. And the week after that, and the week after that, you know, and um, sticking it out is what this is all about. Um, and even last summer, when I got derailed, it wasn't that I um, didn't think I was doing okay. It was just that I got busy and life got in the way. So whether life gets busy or, you know, life, you get busy and life gets in the way, or you're stressed, or you run out of money, or you, you know, like all of these different things, um, find ways to overcome that. Find ways to beat it. Um, I'm down 27 pounds since November 7th of 2017. So in the last three months, I've lost 27 pounds. 
I'm killing it, you guys. I'm killing it. So great weigh in this week. I'm happy to report. I'm hoping that next week is also equally good because our um, site does kind of a cool challenge. It's called the 456. So you have four weeks, you pay $5, and if you lose six pounds, you get to split the pot with whomever else loses that six pounds. But you have to be there on the weigh-ins and you have to be there on the winning day. So um, it's it's awesome, you guys. I think I'm gonna win, you know, some money next week. And maybe what I'll do is I'll throw that into like a little pot and buy myself something cool. I'm not sure yet. At any rate, let me talk to you about my goal. So if you're done and you don't wanna watch the rest, that's cool, I'm totally good with that. But so Saturday I figured out that I have exactly 49 days until my 40th birthday. So today I think we're at 43 maybe 40 44 days until my 40th birthday so I'm not quite seven weeks anymore it will be six weeks this coming Saturday but um originally when I started back up in November my big goal was you know what Melissa uh get your 10 percent get your 10 percent by the time you turn 40 stop messing around do this because I'd never gotten my 10 percent before well I smashed through that on what was it January 4th I got my 10% and then some and then I thought you know Melissa you should go for 40 pounds by your 40th birthday <coughs> and I thought you know that's a great one um sorry you guys I need to take a drink of water 40 pounds by your 40th birthday that's catchy but I smashed through that two weeks ago so then I was like, okay, I need to have a new goal because it's good to have a goal. Um, and then my new goal was 58 pounds by my 40th birthday. And just by the sheer fact that I have six weeks and I have 6.4 pounds to go until my 40th birthday, I think I'm going to, I'm thinking I'm going to nail that. I'm hoping that, but I wanted to have some more goals. So I'm going to tell you my goals and I'm going to tell you my steps, my plan to get to those goals. One of the things that I've learned with goals is you need to make them smart goals. So, oh man, why don't I know off the top of my head what a smart goal is? I know that um, it needs to be like simple, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. I want to say. Um, so I, the point is that I knew that um, that 50 pounds by my 40th would be, could do it. I want to give myself that little teeny tiny charm on my keychain. Um, but I also think that I could go uh, set a goal by Mother's Day. So my goal for Mother's Day is to get out of the 300s into the 200s, which to some people, that might just be ridiculous. Um, like, oh my gosh, I can't imagine. But for me, that's a big deal. Because I honestly have not weighed less than 300 since before I was pregnant with my... Since before I had my oldest daughter. So that's a big deal to me. And then my next big goal is to lose 75 pounds by her graduation day. So 75 pounds by May 31st. And I think it's totally doable. It's ambitious, don't get me wrong. And if I miss it, it's not gonna be an ugly cry like um, like after Christmas with my 10%. Because you know what? I'm gonna get it eventually. Whereas after Christmas, I was terrified. I kept thinking, I'm never going to get this kind of a thing. And so anyway, that's that. So I'm going to tell you my rewards for myself. My rewards are I get to get a new dress or a really cute top for my birthday. Because I, I keep telling my husband he needs to throw me a 40th birthday party, a surprise 40th birthday party that I keep inviting everyone to. Um, but I want to look amazing. And there's this really cool like kind of faux wrap crisscross v-neck red kind of cranberry color dress that I would look stunning in especially 50 pounds less and then the other thing 
that I picked up was this really cute like um, faux alligator um, skin purse and it's amazing and it'll hold all my city stuff and all my mom stuff and I'm just I love it I'm really excited to get that so that's gonna be once I hit Tuterville but if I get there before then I will get myself a purse and then I'll find another present for Mother's Day <laughs> and then lastly um, for the 75 pounds there's this really gorgeous navy dress that I found on Amazon and I shared it on my Facebook page Melissa recovers a Weight Watchers journey um, so if you want to see the pictures of them come check it out but um, yeah you guys the future's bright and if you're struggling today like I was at the end of December like feeling self-defeated like there's no way you're gonna accomplish your goals sit down and write some of those goals out come up with a smart goal come up with a, a reward oh and I want to tell you my plan so my plan to get there is to do water aerobics twice a week I already went once this week and um, I killed it I killed it you guys I'm awesome at it and it's amazing how agile and flexible and strong you feel when you're in the water and gravity isn't pulling you down <laughs> um, and then my other one is that I'm going to walk briskly for 30 minutes this first week next week I'm gonna do 40 minutes week after that's 50 minutes week after that is 60 minutes um, every single day that I don't have water aerobics and the idea and I'm still not completely invested in this idea yet because <laughs> frankly I'm terrified you guys um, someday I'll go into deeper into the story but after I had my twins the doctors almost killed me they put me in congestive heart failure and almost died and it really messed with my mind about what my body is able to do and what I'm capable of accomplishing so um, I'm afraid to do a 5k I wanted to do one last summer and I totally chickened out but um, Kim over at fit and fabulous mama's did such a cool video of her first like when she was trying like she was training for a 5k and then when she completed it go watch it you guys it is so good anyway I want to have uh, a moment like that where I do my 5k and I kill it and I just prove to myself what my body could do so recovering myself anyway those are my my way in my goals my rewards and my plan to get to that and oh the other piece which is crucial is I am going to track every single day I said this for my New Year's goal that I wanted to track for 365 days straight and so far I've been doing it even when it wasn't pretty <laughs> even when I didn't get a blue dot I still tracked and I am really looking forward to seeing the results because I feel like it's gonna be awesome anyway thanks for tuning in you guys I really appreciate all your little comments and your little cheering on and um, I love how last week you told me about your why um, this week tell me what you do when times get tough and the thinking part of this weight loss journey just gets to be too much how do you turn that around share that with everybody um, and if you have a Facebook group or a YouTube channel or something please share that with us because I love going back and I love watching all of them I keep trying to be better with Instagram but it's just another thing I have to remember <laughs> <laughs> but I'll try. Anyway, um, have a great week. I will check in with you guys next week. And I just love all of you. Take care. Bye.